Sega. Welcome to Let's Play Sonic Lost World. This game came out not terribly long ago to a lot of debate and argument and I guess you could say controversy. To the point where reviews were overall not terribly useful. Some people would say it was the best game ever, some people would say it was a terrible game. I... I, to be honest, I wanted to know for myself if this was a decent game or not. I'm... I wouldn't really say a closet Sonic fan, but it's a series that I want to like, but I'm yet to find a game that really grabs me and pulls me in and makes me like it. Though I will say Sonic Colors, which I have, did a pretty decent job. Now, Sonic Lost World here... For one, I figured it's not going to be the longest game in the world, and we could probably use a little bit of a break from Persona from time to time, so we'll get this pushed through and get right back to it, so don't you worry about that. I've played through the majority of this game, and I've got some opinions formed, and I would say I think the first thing that I'm not as happy with as I could be is that the game was made slightly more gamey than the past few Sonic games have been. Sonic Colors, I actually rather liked the slightly more cinematic approach. I mean, they had longer cutscenes. They had a cutscene before a boss to kind of hype you up for that boss, which is kind of important, man. And even the intro! Ah, the intro to Sonic Colors was fantastic. As, like, short as you saw for this one, that was really about all there was. Somebody go s find me the intro to Sonic Colors and so we can see just how glorious that was. Okay, we good? Everybody realize how fi how fantastic that was? Gets you hyped for the game, yo! But I digress. Okay, let's, uh... Yes, we're starting fresh. And we are dropped right into Windy Hill Zone 1. Now, a couple things that I would like to note. You get a little help dialogue up there. There's a button on the touchpad. If you press, it'll bring up the help on the touchpad. This one just says, hey, you can jump by pressing a button. Look at me jump. We get another one here that says, hey, if you press A, you can homing attack enemies. 
which is pretty alright. I actually uh, mistakenly, for the longest part of the game, thought Y did the homing attack and not A. I didn't even know there was an A homing attack. Y is a kick, not a homing attack, which is very different. Yet somehow I made it halfway through the game before I realized that. You'll also notice you can go underneath the levels. There is a top and bottom to these, and various paths throughout them. Heck, there's a side path there if you want to look at it. Now, I do love... Yee! I do love the graphical style in this game. They've gone back to the roots of Sonic. They got the Ladybug bots back, like, no more of Robotnik trying to be realistic or anything. I know this is something they've been tending more towards in the more recent Sonic games, but I'm really happy that this game really does just straight up go back to the root, back to its roots. What's up this tree? Hey, give me that. I ran directly into you, go me. Now there's multiple routes you can take through each level. You can see there's a top side and a bottom side even to this one. What's this health say? It went away, so apparently it's not that important. Ooh, what are you? If you kick an enemy, he'll fly off into other enemies. Wisps return from Sonic Colors. And it says, hey, you can use the touchpad for this, but I would really prefer not, and you can actually just steer it with the pad. The chameleons, man, they're back too. Heck yeah. Now, I do have, though as much as I love the art style, well, okay, target that one, whatever. As much as I do love the art style in this game, there we go, wait. As much as I love a lot of things about this game, I do have some problems with it, and I'm sure we'll be getting to that later. Some of, one of which is the parkour system in enclosed areas. Oh, you hit this bell? It'll fly over here, where you can hit it again. And hit it again. And finally, you can run up this tree to get a red ring that it leaves behind. I'm going. I'm going. I think I just bypassed something that I could have gone up. Whoops. Okay, that was my fault because I was holding down the run button. There is a run button, and personally, being the right shoulder button, it doesn't feel like a big deal that I have to hold the button down. It actually conforms pretty well to my hand and how things work in the light. You'll be wanting to hold it down a lot of the time. But not always. And it is actually very helpful to not hold it down. Hey, if you land on the capsule from farther away, you get more points. I saved 69 little dudes. <laughs> Take it easy there. Sonic and Tails will get your buddies back. Sonic, did you get those animals back from Eggman? Uh, just the one container he tossed off his Eggmobile. What? Wait a minute, just the one? <laughs> Weak. I would have gotten them all back by now. Save the rest of them. But oh, let me know. I hate to think what Eggman's doing to those poor things. I'm on it. Second stage, unlocked. Yay. Not that I'll ever be playing them. Wisped away. 
As far as I can tell, this is actually the only time in the game that this option will show up. So I'm gonna hit no because I don't want this coming up halfway through the recording. So yeah... I think another thing that I like about this game is one thing a lot of Sonic games were getting criticized, a lot of criticism for were them being about Sonic and his friends, like 18 other dudes. And they just kept introducing dudes. And in here, on the other hand, it's just Sonic and Tails up here. And then Amy and Knuckles down on the planet. And even then, you hardly see much of Amy and Knuckles. Gr and I like the way their personalities work, even. Granted, I think Amy's voice can get a little grating, but that's another story for another time. Hey there, little mecha chow guy! Now, what he's giving us is requests. There's a little button on the gamepad I can bring up that, well, I guess you guys can't see this, so that's going to be kind of crappy. There's a little button on the game the game pad I can press that'll bring up the various missions that he just gave me. Now, these are generally pretty simple missions. Collect 500 rings. Spin dash for at least two seconds. It's stuff that you'll actually be doing just as the game goes on anyway. But as you complete them, you'll be given an item reward for it, and then he'll go give you more stuff. So that's pretty alright. Also, the world map here is a little bit weird in the moving around. You can find other little things off to the side, like a one-up. You can even see to the end here that we can't go in, and there's a barrier preventing us from going to the next world. But if you don't like this, instead of using the analog stick, you can just press the D-pad, and Sonic will just go straight back and forth between all the levels. So let's give, let's give level two a go. Oh, there is settings here. Oh, okay, you can turn the wisp away off here, okay. Settings, Miiverse, ranking, co-op, time attack, don't care, let's play a level. Transformation 101, bunnies to badniks, boom, instant army. It needs to be a big army if I'm taking over the world below. You are quite a mighty conqueror. Yes, yes I am. I conquered you, didn't I? And with your help, I'll not only rule the world, I'll finally destroy that blue nuisance, Sonic! Eggman wants the little hedgehog destroyed. <laughs> yeah, well, I feel like destroying something. That's what I like about you, Zaz. Always ready for a fight. Even before you know what you're fighting. <laughs> you bet! Bring it on and I'll rip it up! <laughs> Win or lose, I'll something about our end. Zone 2! Man, simply knowing about the homing attack is making this far easier than it was the first time I played this. Now, with these guys, all you have to do is get close enough and they will... lose their little spiky things. You can also do a pound attack by hitting the Y button, so there's that. Come on, I wanna get I wanna get on top! I will not be getting all of the red rings. Some of them are frustrating. Really. To get a hold of. Now that big guy there I had to kick. The homing attack actually won't finish him off, so. And we see another wisp here. Come on, Sonic. Come on, Sonic. Get in there. You can still spin dash in this game. Simply hold down the left rear button. And then you can shoot off. You can even hold it down and, like, rapid press another button to build up speed. Also, these sheep are hate. 
is you'll hit one and bounce off of their fluff. Also, I'm being very cautious because I wasn't sure where that spinner was. Now, we can use the asteroid guy right here. Now, you do sadly have to use the gamepad to steer this thing. So, yeah, we want to go right and we want to go in that, which only appears when we use the asteroid. Now that we're in here... Yeah, got it! Go me! If you hold down the homing attack button... Or any button, really, can you just, like, use that button over and over again? Yeah, it's all the jump button, okay. Well, I suppose I should probably try to get those. No! Oh well. You know, to be honest, I'm always looking at the screen, so I'm not sure what, like, if there's a dialogue box or something that comes up that's saying, No, 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 I saw a red ring! Okay, where was it? It was like... Huh? Come on, Sonic. Yeah, there we go. You can run up walls if you're with the parkour system, if you're holding down run when you hit a wall. You can then jump off of it and uh, push away and hit jump to push off of it. I will say, a lot of the controls in this game do give me a little bit of... Strike, I guess you could say. There's a there's a very high learning curve to learning how to like do a lot of the stuff in this game. And I'm only looking half competent because I've just finished playing through almost the entire game. The game will be kind of frustrating, and I think having a tutorial doesn't really help. Like, you just have to experiment for a while. I'm not gonna kill this guy super quick. He just does this. And then we'll come back and you hit him. Hit him like three times. And then he'll fall off. He'll get up and charge at you. I wanna get on his other side. You wanna homing attack him? Without the homing attack, this guy is almost impossible to beat. Which is where I was having so much trouble beating him before I figured out you could homing attack. If you stand near an enemy long enough, you'll actually build up a homing attack. I guess you don't, they only let you build it up so high on him. Mini boss at the end of Windy Hill Zone 2. Oh, by the way, uh, while you're running through the screen normally, playing through the game normally, on the gamepad screen, there is what amounts to a very basic progression map of the level, so you can at least sort of see how far you are if you want to take a look. So you can look and go, oh, I'm almost near the end. Okay. I got something that I don't know what is. All right, Windy Hill Zone Three. I think when I can just like play the game straight. These levels are gonna go a little bit faster because I'm not stopping to like. Oi. Look at me go! Bats! Man, having that homing attack is making this so much easier than it was the first time. Okay, let's see what I can do with you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna aim at you and we'll see what happens. Well, that was a whole lot of stuff happening. Nope! Nope! Oh, 
Oh, these, as the hint there will tell you, are breakable. And I just missed all of them. Well, I was trying to build up a charge, but it wasn't quite working. Where am I? Yeah, give me that red... Give me that red ring! Give me that! One thing I think it would be really nice if they, this game did is if it actually made these lock onable. Oh, this is gonna be terrible. Why did I do this? Um... Let's see if I can not get myself killed. You're supposed to laser across this pit, but the barrier was in the way, so I couldn't have made it. Yeah, I'll have to wait, it's too late. You are on a time limit in these levels, but it is generally a pretty... Ew. It is generally a pretty lax time limit. Uh, I think that hits it. Yeah! Okay, let's get a little bit closer to you. Out of the way! Busy lasering! Okay, now I want to go through here, and I kind of want that. I will say, though, I think this game does have a... Fairly length, fairly high skill cap. Because again, when I'm like, not just having the homing attack, but just overall, this game was almost frustrating when I first started playing it. But having as much experience as I do now, this game, I really should have gotten closer to that. Please hit it. Thank you. This game was almost frustrating when I started playing it, but now it's actually way super enjoyable Wah! way super enjoyable playing these early levels no I kind of want to hit that bell again because it will often give me shinies and I like me shinies yes that is a shiny that I can get behind and here we arrive at the end of the level Grab some coins, because, or coins, rings, because those give us rings. And beat us a level. Oh, yeah! I think as the game goes on and it gets more difficult... Make sure there's no cutscene there. I think as the game goes on and it gets more difficult, some of the more troublesome aspects of the game stand out a bit more. Okay, well, let's go do this one then. And I remember. Hey, I've been looking for you, Baldy McNose Hair. Who are your friends? <sighs> friends? These are nobody's friends. They are the Deadly Six, and they are your worst enemies. Zaz, show this blue pest how you do things up here. <sighs> With pleasure, I'll be itching for a fight all day. <laughs> I think you're itching because you need a bath. Huh? Why you disrespecting me? Maybe. I'm gonna mess you up! I'd love to stay and watch him disassemble you, but I have business to attend to. In his butt! Now, this is another level that I remember having so much trouble the first time I played through it, so we'll see how well this goes this time. Heck yeah! Okay, now I'm gonna be a little more careful here. 
You do have a slight double jump. It's not like really a double jump. But it's helpful. I mean, it's kind of, it's essentially a double jump. But it's helpful when you need that little bit. Also, bouncing off sheep. No, 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 stay away from the red sheep. Red sheep are bad. Nope, nope, red sheep bad. Okay. And then there's the side-scrolling sections as well. Which are fun and stuff. There's also little capsules or through the levels that will um, drop little dudes. Um, getting them, man, that is some... That is some I want to be the guy crap right there. Later. Weenie. How high is the ceiling in here? Ah, that's pretty high up there. Wait. I shouldn't have jumped, but it worked out somehow. Go me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and stay down here. Hope you guys don't mind. I did not even remember that was there. So I'm kind of thankful that it worked out for me in the end. Oh dear. Oh dear. Yeah, they barely don't hit me. I shouldn't have kicked him, but whatevs. There we go. That's what I'm after. Gotta remember that homing attack. There was something back here, wasn't there? I guess I got everything that was back there. All right. Though you can't homing attack onto the springs, a lot of them are placed in such a way as that you can just kind of run into them pretty easily. Okay, there's nothing up there. Good to know. Whee. Okay, you got me my other dude. I do believe the opening is right in the middle of this, so let's get over there. No, 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 no! Oh well. Um, I said before, I I very much doubt I'm actually going to be getting all of the red rings. It does unlock something very nice at the end of the game, but it's not necessary to get them all, and some of them are real jerks. Wait, next up on the menu is you? Isn't that bad for you? Oy. Hi there. All the Deadly Six seem to have some kind of vehicle or weapon or the like, and that one appears to be his. Now, once you get a handle of the parkour system and how to not tick it off, I think a lot of this... I think that makes a lot of things easier. Okay, thank you, I didn't hit that ledge. I didn't want to get hit by it. Now, for everything else in this game, this boss is actually kind of easy. Then he'll hop to the other side, he'll throw his thing again. Wow, really? That was it? Two hits? Whatevs. He takes like six hits normally, but since you can charge up the homing attack, you can take a lot of the bosses in this game out in, like, two hits. All right. We good to go or what, Tails? Hmm. I built a TV out of paper clips. Yeah. And reprogrammed a supercomputer using dishwashing detergent and a toothpick. I know. So look, fixing a propeller on a biplane? That's about as difficult as taking a nap. 
Okay, I didn't need your whole life story. A simple good to go would have been cool. All right. Good to go! Cool! And with that, we have downed the first of the Deadly Six. Sort of. He did just kind of leave. And we've unlocked the second world! So until next time, everyone, when we start off in the Desert Ruins...